Hello, this is Andrew with the Shoemaker Technology Group on behalf of MTA and I'm going to be talking about two different options for audio conferencing. First with Zoom and second with freeconferencecall.com. Audio conferencing with Zoom works similarly to its video functions where you'll access through a smartphone or a computer and free conference call works through an actual phone number. So you'll dial in through a cell phone or even a landline. Both of them are powerful tools and it's just up to whatever works best for your municipality, um, which one you choose. Setting up an audio conference call through Zoom is really just a matter of turning off the video feature. So here on the phone, I'll select new meeting and then just make sure the video on option is turned off. Joining the meeting will look a lot like joining with video, except it'll just be the, the darker screen here. You can still click invite in the, in the bottom menu to invite contacts to the meeting. Um, and then the only difference is by default, they'll be joining without video as well. So you can hold the phone up to your ear and use it as a normal call. Similarly with the desktop, on the orange icon, you can just click that drop down change it to start without video and then join the call as usual instead of seeing the participants faces or screens you'll just see this information about the call and you can go ahead click that invite button and invite other users to the call now freeconferencecall.com on the other hand works by participants calling in to a central phone number so for a township to use freeconferencecall.com the township would just need to set up one host account on the website and then through that host account uh, you'd receive a phone number and an access code that participants would call to get access to the meetings. So for example this is the Shoemaker Group account. I can click host meeting on the quick actions and then click the invite button and that gives me a convenient way to either copy to the clipboard or directly invite participants through email. The host would then just need to click this host online meeting button and then any participants who call in and enter the access code would all have access to the meeting. And we know it's not only important for you to be able to continue to hold these meetings but also to record them to help with transparency and compliance with the Open Meetings Act. Now both of these solutions do offer ways to record meetings and I'll go over that starting with Zoom. So on the meeting screen, you'll just click the record button in the main menu down at the bottom. Then once the meeting's over, you can either click the stop button or just end the meeting. And once the meeting has concluded, Zoom will begin processing that audio file and it will open up immediately to the folder containing that file. So you can upload it to your website or communicate it to your residents in whatever way you need to. Freeconferencecall.com also offers a way to record your meetings. Um, so th we'll just access the website again through our host account. And now that we've invited everyone, we'll click host online meeting. That will open up the application on our desktop and begin hosting the meeting. Now once we're dialed into the meeting and the meeting has begun, we can see down at the bottom on that main menu, just have to scroll down there to cause the menu to pop up. Um, we'll just click the record button. Now again, similarly to Zoom, we can just leave that running or click it again to stop the recording. Either way, if when you click stop or when the meeting ends, that recording will stop. We'll go ahead and end the meeting. And that recording will process right away. So I can go ahead and click that link and there on the freeconferencecall.com website is a recording and you can click this download button to download the file back to your computer right away. And then similarly to the other solution, you can send that file out to your residents through an email newsletter or post it on your website. Again, this has been Andrew with the Shoemaker Technology Group on behalf of MTA discussing different audio conferencing options for municipalities. Thank you for your time and feel free to reach out if you have any questions.